Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Bonfire, which is a new game from Steffenfeld, the second of this year, along with the Castles of Tuscany, which you can also find on the channel incidentally. In this game, we play as the leaders of rival gnome cities, where, the, where our bonfires have gone out. They give us light and energy. The guardians that used to watch over us have cleared off to these islands and taken the bonfires with them, and we're going to have to go around and gather tasks, complete them, build paths, gather portals and recruit gnomes that can help us out on our journey. I'm going to be playing a full two-player game today against Little Glass Marty. Just before we get started, I'd recommend you turn your Klingon subtitles on to correct any mistakes I might make. And if you would like to support the channel, it's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. You get to vote on videos as well as help me keep making them. And patrons got this early. Wouldn't you like to see things early? Maybe you would. So let's get started. I am the first player. That's why I've got this little roof on my tower over here. On your turn, you have three options. It's all explained on your player aid over here, uh, but you will, you'll be doing one of those options most of the time. So one option is to place a fate tile. This is how you get new action tiles. You get these fate tiles from your special board over here, and you'll be placing them on your main player board and getting new action tiles. You can only do that, though, if you have got a maximum of one action tile. So I've got five, so I can't do that. One of the actions you can do is complete a task. So we will be getting these tasks, trying to complete the criteria on them, and then we spend a turn completing them. I haven't got any tasks, so I won't be completing any. The main thing you'll be doing in the game is using your action tiles. You can see all the way down here, all the different things that we can do, but I'll get into it as we go along. So the tile I've started with, it's got the get a task action. It's got the card action, and it's got the bonfire action. I also start the game with two wild action tiles. You can use these as anything, and you could always use any two action tiles to be an action tile that you actually want. Same for the resources as well. Gold is a wild resource, but also you can use any two resources to be one that you need. I think I'm going to start off with a bonfire action. So the bonfire action, as you can see over here, it's about turning this bonfire in the center here. And for one action tile, you can move it one space. Two action tiles, you move it two spaces. Three action tiles, you can move it anywhere you like. Now, for the first bonfire action of the game, I can set it to anywhere, so there'll be no need for me to pay more than one. So I'll pay one bonfire action tile, and I can set it anywhere. So the, there are three things that you can get, well, actually four things that you can get from the bonfire. Usually, your choice will be an action tile, a resource, and a portal. Now there is one space over here where instead of a resource, it's two points. Now as we fill up our game boards over here, we'll be getting path tiles. Our guardians will move along these paths and we can get them onto our bonfires if we complete tasks to gain those bonfires. They can only get to the bonfires though if we have portals. Now we all have one of each symbol, but they're in different uh, arrangements and you have to start from the right hand side here. So I want this uh, kind of asterisk. Now in a two-player game, one of each type of tile is removed, and there's only three in each section, and each island only has two tasks on it rather than three. So I could set it to, where's the one I need? Here they are. So it depends which actions I would really want. I think getting a sailing action tile wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to get this portal tile, and then I'm going to choose the action tile for sailing. Pop that in there, and my portal tile goes there, and I have to work in this sequence. And you can be thinking about, you know, the, the next one that I need would be in the next one so I could turn it there later. But other people are all turning it at, at the same time. So there's not really that much point in doing that unless you know that the other person isn't going to be doing that next turn. OK, over to Marty. And he's in a similar situation, as you might imagine. He's going to start out by getting a card. Now, he doesn't actually have the tile for this. He's going to have to use one of his mystery tiles. He could use two of the others, but while he's got a wild one, I think he will just use that. Now, there are two types of cards. There are these elder gnomes who will reward you with points based on things that you've done. So for every path tile you've got, for every uh, task tile, for every guardian. At the start of the game, there's very little point getting those. You're only going to be getting one or two points at most. But down here, we have the specialists that give you permanent abilities. So out here we have... When you complete a task, get a gold, which is a wild resource. We have, uh, you can pay for your tasks with any resources. Usually there's a restriction we'll see in a bit. This one is when you take multiple tasks from the same island, usually you have to pay more and more action tiles to do that. This lets you just pay one every time. 
This is whenever you take a path tile, you take the resource that's on the path tile as well. Usually you don't get any resources. This is you can take a new fate tile when you have up to three action tiles in front of you. And this is when you complete a common task there over here, you get a wild action tile and a gold. Marty is looking for this one here because yeah, he'd, he'd quite like to go into cards, I think. And there are some nice tasks available for cards over here. So have three cards, have five cards, have uh, five card action tiles. I think that's what he's thinking at the start. So to take this, you either need to pay two action tiles and the resource on the cards you want, or one action tile and two of that resource. That's what Marty's going to do. He's going to pay a gold, which is his wild resource, and he is going to pay the fruit. This goes in one of his six card slots on his player board. And a new one comes out, which concerns your novices. When you complete tasks, your novices go out onto this board. Usually you can only pick a bonus once, but this would let you put as many novices as you like on the same bonus. Okay, it's back to me then. And I think it's time to do something about getting a task. So I'm going to choose the sailing action. Now, sailing... Just for one action tile, you can move to an adjacent island. For two action tiles, you can move two islands. So if I was here, I could move here, then here by paying two. For three, I can go anywhere I like. But for your very first sailing action of the game, similar to the bonfire, uh, you can go anywhere you like. So I am going to jump over here because I have noticed this task here that wants you to have one of your offering tiles on an island with the fruit icon. And the island it's on has that fruit icon. So I've done my sailing. I've gone to the island that I want to. But when you do a sail action, you can have a bonus action, which is either get a guardian by spending a guardian action tile or get a task by spending a task action tile. So I have a task action tile, so I'm going to spend that as well. Now for taking the tasks, the first task from an island costs you one action tile. The second costs you two action tiles, and the third costs you three action tiles. But in a two-player game, there wouldn't be that. So I've just paid one action tile for this. So there is a cost associated with it now. You have to pay resources. You need to pay the resource that's on the island itself, so I need to pay a fruit. And then you have two offering tiles face up on your player board here, and you have to pay the resource that's on one of those. I'm going to pay the... is it a mandrake? I'm going to pay that. And so you take the offering tile that you paid with, and pop it on the island and take the task and you can put it anywhere you like. I think I'm gonna go for here. You turn another offering tile face up so you can see which resources you'll need if you want a task in the future. And in future, I could, I could spend an action to complete that task. Okay, back to Marty. He's gonna be, yeah, he's gonna be card man, I think. He's gonna use this as a card action tile again. I think he's gonna hang on to, he's gonna hang on to his, action tiles he's going to he wants this one when you take a path you get the resource that's on it he's going to grab that card so he needs to pay a sh he needs to pay two shells if he's only paying one action tile so he's going to have to yeah he's going to have to pay two of another resource to count as his other shell that's what he's going to do though Let's see if this card thing will work out for him a new card comes out. Now this lets you place these fate tiles usually as you might expect you have to stay within the grid this lets you place them outside the grid. Okay, back over to me, and I'm kind of feeling like I should maybe have done some carding. Oh, I think I'll get one, actually. Oh, it, it's got a bad... I think I'll, I'll pay one of my wild action tiles. So I'll pay two action tiles to get a card, so I only have to pay one of the resource, because I don't actually have the fruit. So I'm just going to pay my gold. Uh, I want this one, because, you know, whenever you complete a task, you get a gold. I'm about to complete a task, and hopefully we'll do more in the future. Over to Marty, and he is going to go for a bonfire action because he needs this symbol. <laughs> now you describe these symbols. Uh, he needs this symbol, next, and it's one rotation away, so he's going to go for it. Uh, and so he could take a gold or a path. I think he's going to take a path because he gets resources from placing paths, doesn't he? So he's going to grab that and goes in his first slot. And then he's going to grab a path action tile and pop it up there. Down to me, I have one action tile left, so I still can do something. But I think I'm going to choose to place a new fate tile. Or do I want to complete my task? And I'll get a gold and maybe I could get something else. But yeah, let's complete a task. Let's show that. So I've done this. You don't have to have a portal or a path or anything like that to complete a task. You just have to have done it. My offering tile is on the correct island. So I flip this over. I'm going to get two points at the end of the game for doing that. 
And I take the novice that is standing uh, watch by that task now that it's become a bonfire. And he gets sent to the High Council where I can claim a bonus. So the bonuses are place a fate tile now. And so you could do it with no limit to your action tiles and it doesn't take up a turn to do it. Move your boat anywhere and then take an extra, take the bonus action if you can afford to. Both of these, by the way, everything but this last one, I've got the option of, or have a point. Uh, so yeah, or have a point. Uh, this is grab a guardian from anywhere, or have a point. Grab a specialist, a blue card, or a point. Rotate the bonfire to anywhere, and then claim the bonuses, or a point. Move one of your guardians to anywhere, which will be important later on. Uh, grab any path tile, including going through the stack of them and picking the exact one that you want, and then shuffling. Or two gold and a wild action tile. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have some cards as well. I want this one that lets me put action tiles outside the grid, so I don't have to pay for that. New one comes out, and that's uh, if you have a grey guardian. When it goes onto a path tile, you get double the resources. We haven't seen guardians yet, have we? We'll do it soon. I can't claim that bonus in future now unless I get uh, this specialist card. Uh, but if I was com to complete a common task, now these over here, it's have seven tasks or bonfires, seven portals, seven paths, six cards, or five guardians. That would be completing a common task. If I was the first person to do one of those common tasks, I would get a common novice to place on the high council. And I can choose the same bonus again, as long as someone else hasn't sent a common one over there as well. It's only one of each color unless you've got this. Okay, so it's Marty, isn't he? He's got loads of action tiles still, not many resources, though. He's going to grab a uh, path tile. So it spends one action token. The first three spaces, it's one action tile to do it. The next three, it's two action tiles. And you can pick from any of the four on display or go for the top one from the stack. Uh, should he have a bonfire tile? I don't think he should. He wants to go for, and he has to be a little bit careful here because I could uh, go ahead and grab these. Uh, so maybe if he's going for this, have three cards. He could go for a, a pink four-pointer and see that wants the blue flower. So yeah, you could get that actually. Blue flower, green, yes. Uh, so he is going to go for red or pink. It has to go in the next slot along and he gets himself the resource on it because he's got this card there. You don't normally get that. It's over to me and I've still got my wild, but I think I am going to place a fate tile. So I can choose from the top or bottom one. These were just randomly shuffled and dealt out. So it depends which actions I want to do next and what I'm building for in the future, really. I think what I'm going to do is grab this one, because I'd like to keep sailing. Now, it's in your interest. It has to go adjacent to something that's already in there. It's in your interest to match up like symbols, because just placing them like, say, that, I would get one of each of these tiles, and that would be fine. But if you can line the colors up properly, I would get two purples now, two bonfires, and a path and a sailing tile. And there are also all of these places to cover up on your main board. So I could choose to go up here actually, and I could go down here and get a gold, or I could go up here, which I think I'll do instead, and I'll get a wild action tile. So I get a wild, and then a sailing, a path, and two bonfires. And later on, if I can keep linking up, I'll get three, four, five bonfires. Maybe that's a, maybe I go for bonfires and do that because this is half have, have uh, five bonfire action tiles. Hmm. Maybe Marty's going to go for paths again, and so if he's going to go for those yellows as well, yeah, that's got the shell on it. There's no shell out there. He could just go for one from the top. Yeah, he's just going to go for one from the top of the stack. Promise, I'm not cheating. It's another red one or pink, and he gets himself a fruit. Now, as for me, my next portal tile is two away so I could pay both of my bonfires to turn it there or I could just do the actions a little bit slower I could get a card action tile over here and maybe a resource because I've just seen that there is also have uh, have three bonfire symbols lined up on your action board as a task well I've, I've nearly done that so I might as well just stay here and it's got a fruit and then I need, need another fruit or a green I've got a green there so yeah I will just turn the bonfire once I can't take a portal tile because the one I want isn't there, but I will have a fruit and a card action tile instead. Marty is going to do a fate tile. He wants to grab some tasks, doesn't he? So he's going to choose the top one over here. Big reach. 
And uh, where is he going to place it? Does he want a wild action tile as well? What's he want to build up? Oh, unfortunately, these are at opposite ends. So he's going to, does he want more sailing or does he want more paths? I think he's going to go for really grabbing these paths. He's going to offset them though. Maybe he can join these up and get a load of sailing ones later. Because there is have five sailing tokens at once, which to do, you, you can get it from the bonfire a bit, but you're probably going to have to line things up on your action board. So he's going to get two greens and a red and a blue. Not going to help him with his cards though, is it? Over to me and I am going to... Oh, I don't need to sail, do I? I'm just going to use... Yeah, I'll use a wild as a grab a task. Oh, I have to use two though, don't I? Oh, I've, I've chosen wrongly now. I hadn't noticed that that tile was right there and that I don't actually want to move. I could use both of my wilds. Or oh, shall I try and get this card? Can I afford this card? No. Because it would be use a wild as two action tiles. I'm just going to do it while it's here. I'm going to pay both of my wild action tiles. To do a task, I need to pay a fruit and I'm going to pay leaves and grab this one. And yeah, I'm going to put them in a row. Oh, I haven't completed it yet. Cheeky. And so I need to pay the fruit and the green. Marty is going to start off on his task adventure. So he's going to sail and then with his bonus, he will pay uh, to grab a task. He's going to go right over to this island here and he needs to pay... Yeah, blue is no problem, and he'll pay. Uh, it's easier to reach if he pays for the green. So, yeah, that's what he's going to pay for. And uh, this task down here is have four blue path tiles. It's doable. Now, you do get more points if your path tile matches the color of your bonfire, but it's not essential. So, he might as well place this in one of his uh, pink spaces. Back to me, and... Oh, maybe I should have done the bonfire first. I'm going to do a bonfire now because now it's pointing at the right thing. I could have gotten a card action tile right here. But instead, I'm not so hot on resources. I think I'm going to grab a mandrake and the portal tile that I need. Marty could go to another island and grab a new task, but actually he's only got one resource. He will go for another path tile, his last one that only costs one action tile. And what does he want? Maybe he wants to take the blues away. Take the blues away. Uh, he... Yeah, if you can see this is next to me. There's two out here. He doesn't want to let me get four. What does he want, though? He wants shells for going over there. Does he want to just draw again? He's just going to draw one from the top of the deck and see if he gets shells. He does get shells. And it's a blue one. Maybe he wants that task. So he gets himself a nice shell. And it is a common task to get seven paths, so he could just uh, try and race for that. Back to me. Maybe I, I should have a path. I'm not going to sail. Am I going to get a card? Let's see, with the resources that I have... No, the cards that are out here aren't looking great. There's the Mandrake ones that I could do if I had the right Guardian. I think let's grab a Path Tile, because I, uh, I could match some colours here since there are some blues out. I, of course, don't get resources for just placing them. Uh, so that can go there, and we'll have a new one out. Oh, it's another blue. So maybe this task is a good one to go and get. I don't have the Action Tiles to be able to do that at the moment, but hey, maybe it's something that we should do. <laughs> Marty can't do a Path. He could sail... He could just move to a new place, or he could spend both of these to do something else. Now, he could try and grab that task. Does he have, does he have resources? No, because he, he didn't take the card that lets him pay whatever resources he wanted. So he could spend both of them as a blue flower, but he doesn't have anything there. Oh, what, what, which one is down here? Mandrake. No, he can't afford to get a task right now, even though he can with action tiles. Now, you can discard action tiles at any time if you want to so that you're able to do the fate action. I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to discard, let's say, his path, because he, get, he can get more paths. No, he'll, he'll discard the sailing one. And so his turn is going to be a new fate action. So getting tasks is actually not that easy for him. They're all lost in the middle here. So I think he's going he's gonna to get some more path action tiles. So how would he like to place this? He doesn't want to block off is sailing. He could put that up there, although if getting cards is his focus, that will be putting cards off in a corner. You can rotate them and everything. Yeah, he'll put cards off to that side. So it's three greens, a guardian, and a card. Back to me. And yeah, the right portal isn't there. I just think I could. Actually, yeah, Marty should perhaps have done this. I'm going to spend both of these because these are actions I don't really want to do. I don't want to just sail on its own. 
and I don't want to get a card right now, I can spend both of these to do a bonfire because I can get a wild action tile that is the same as just having two tiles. So I haven't lost any action tiles since I didn't want to do anything with them. I can't take a portal. I need this uh, two moons. Uh, and uh, that isn't for... Oh, it's a, it's a couple in front, so I'm going to have to take a shell. And Marty maybe just keeps going for these and taking the, the blue ones away, but then he, he'll want blue tasks if he wants the most points. He's going to do it for now. Path again. And... Yeah, if you get some guardians, this is going to work out really nicely. <laughs> Where's he going to do that, though? He can't sail anymore. Gets himself another blue flower. Because there is another task out there for have two path tiles with the same resource on them, which Marty has just done. So if you can get these action tiles, what he needs is to grab a card. But getting a card will be easier if you've got resources. The end of the game is triggered, by the way, when seven novices are in the high council. Then there are five more turns and the game is over. Back to me, and I do have the wild action tile, but I think I'm going to... Oh, my, my grabber tiles are all in the middle. I can complete a task if I grab this one, so that's what I'm going to do. How would I... I can line this up okay, actually. I can get myself two greens and then three purples and a guardian. Okay, so plenty of action tiles there. So there, I've got three symbols next to each other. They don't have to be in that shape, just have to be next to each other. Marty is going to do a guardian action. Now, there is grabbing a guardian for if you're on a guardian island, uh, but also move your guardian. Uh, for every tile that you spend, you get that many movement points for all of your guardians. There's only one at the start, so your guardian will just move one space forward. The tile they end on is the resource that you get, so Marty will get himself a gold, which is what he wants because he's going to try and get a card. Over to me, and look at all of these tiles. I, I can complete this task now, can't I? I'm going to complete this task, and I feel an impulse right now. I'm going to grab a gold. I can't remember if I did that the first time. I'm going to send my novice out to... Let me place another fate tile out. I'm going to place this one like that. So I'll get two task tiles and a guardian and four more bonfires. And so with all of this, surely I can get a load of stuff done, right? Because that's have five task tiles. So at the moment I've got six, but I haven't got any sailing to get over there. I could surely spend two of something else. Surely that's worth it. Marty is... Oh, he was going to get a card, wasn't he? But I don't... Oh, these ones don't seem great at the moment. He's going to get another path tile. Why not race towards that? He's just going to keep getting blues as well. See if he can get four of them and uh, do that task. So that is getting him another green. No blues out there now, though, but he can always take the bonus that lets him search through the stacks and get it. As, and he just needs... What does he need? He needs a blue, which he's got. and if, So he's got the resources. If he just gets the action tile, he can pick that up. Because, yeah, I'm not bothered about it anymore. I want to sail, but I need to sail lots. So I do have the wild. Have I got a card one? It's all just... Um, Gangy up on me, isn't it? I could go to the bonfire and try and get something that I need first. Yeah, I need two movement to go over there. And I don't have any more bonfire things, so I don't want to waste these tiles. Maybe we can get more of these later. I'm going to spend two of these as a sailing and two of these as a sailing. Oh, <laughs> so many action tiles to do that. And come over here and grab this with, an, with a task action tile. So that's going to cost me a Mandrake and... Oh, what's the face-up one here? A Mandrake and a Shell. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to put it... Now, it lines up if it's over here, but it's worth way more points if it's over here. But how many path tiles am I likely to get and move my Guardians and stuff? I'm just going to put it there. Because I could, I could do that next turn. That's seven points. Marty, I think, is placing a Fate tile. And he wants some sailing and actions. So... Oh, no, that would be perfect. But he can't do that because he... Hasn't got the ability to place off the board like I have. He does want loads of sailing ones, doesn't he? But how's, how does this line up? This can't line up, can it? Not at the moment. Was that on the bottom? I think it was. If he took the top one, he'd be able to sail a lot, but not necessarily uh, grab things. He's going to do that so he gets a gold. And so he's going to get two ships and a card... And a Guardian. So, I, d I don't know if it's too late for both of us, but well, we haven't really done many tasks. Uh, if you get loads of Guardians, 
and each move them one, they'll all end up on a tile if you've got loads of paths and you can get generate loads of resources, which maybe Marty should start doing. As for me, I'm going to complete my thing before I spend any of these bonfire tiles. Uh, so I'm going to go for... I think let's turn the bonfire anywhere. I'm going to turn it to face... Here? Well, what's next? The triangles. So is there the one that I need and then triangles? Yes, let's point it up here. And I could maybe get a card. So I'm going to take the one that I need and one more thing. Fruit, I don't have any resources or card. I don't really care about these cards. I'm going to go for fruit. When I get a gold, don't offer completing a task. Marty is going to grab a guardian. Let's do it. So sail to a guardian island. And then... It's one to just grab the Guardian. That goes in the starting place. So next time he does Guardian action, they'll both move and he'll get a gold and a blue. Maybe a bit late to be starting to do that. As for me, I could keep bonfiring now. Yes, I'm going to spend one to do a normal bonfire action. And I could get another task. So how hard is it going to be to just line these up and get an, another Mandrake? There's one right there. I don't have any path things, but I could get one later. So what? So I'm, I'm definitely going to take this. Am I going to stay here and need this action, or would I rather have a Mandrake? I've got a lot of resources. I'm going to just take the action tile. Maybe worry Marty a little bit. Marty needs to grab a card and stop messing around. He's going to go for... Oh, he's got the Grey Guardian now, so the Grey Guardian can get double resources. Yeah, he'll, he'll do that. And he needs to pay Mandrakes, which he hasn't got, so he's going, to, he's going to pay two action tiles and a resource to do that. And so he can complete his task at last. But I think we're going to leave that here for part one. I am going to play through the whole rest of the game in part two. If you would like to join me there, if you would like to know what I think about the game, that's going to be linked below or on the screen very soon. And if you'd like to help me keep making playthroughs like this, you know, there's, there's over 400 on this channel now. It's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips and any support would be massively appreciated. Thank you for watching this though, and I'll see you wherever you end up. Bye everyone.